what's up clashers turn 56 from iconic here bring you another highlight attack video and this is the highlight from iconic war 127 and jakey boy was able to get a really nice three star on pcb here using a shattered go loon uh, as always with these videos, first we're going to look at the base itself, we'll talk about some weaknesses of it, talk about why the strategy that was employed was successful, and then we'll go ahead and watch the video. So if you're unfamiliar with PCB, I guess I'm a little surprised, <laughs> first of all, because it's a very common base, uh, but this is pretty much how you're always going to see it. it. It's defined by these four 2i6 voids that are in the chambers wrapping around the core here. Uh, Teslas are going to be guarding the exterior of all of those voids and then two of them are going to contain double giant bombs. Uh, so because of those double giant bombs and how relatively effectively they're laid out this can be a fairly difficult base to hog. Uh, and Iconic we've been noticing more and more though that it is pretty susceptible to a Gola Loon attack either cold-blooded with the one golem or shattered with two. And Jakey Boy brings a shattered here on this one. Uh, the reason I, why I think this base is pretty vulnerable to a Gola Loon is uh, one it's it's very easy always to get at least one air defense when you're pushing in with the kill squad to get the queen. No matter which direction you come from, you're going to get one of those. Um, two, the defenses are pretty tightly packed. You know, imagine just your average radius rage spell. You know, you're going to cover five, six defenses with your rage spells, depending on where you drop them. Uh, whether it's north, south, east, or west, there's all these big clumps of defenses around on this base. And then the third reason why I think this is just susceptible to the Laloon style attacks is it's really easy to get your balloons down on this one. Uh, there's the travel time is very short. There's it's not an expanded base with a lot of garbage buildings pushing your drops way out, so they get in there pretty quick. And because of the round shape of it, it's very easy to target specific defenses too. Just drop in two there, two there, two there, two there. Um, so pretty easy loon dropping, targeting, and uh, condensed defenses makes it susceptible to this style of attack. All right, so let's go ahead and look at Jakey Boy's attack specifically. Uh, he likes to do the shattered attack. So the goal with a shattered Gola loon because you're bringing the second golem, you're spending a bigger investment in that kill squad, so you want to get two air defenses as long with, as long with the along with the archer queen. Sorry, it's really late. Uh, so he's going to uh, start off up here, no lure. Uh, he's going to drop both golems in on this uh, cannon over here. Uh, this is not a go wee wee style attack where you want a nice big wide spread on your golems very different goal here because he's really only concerned about that chunk of the base right there that's that's what he wants to take out uh, so these are the only defenses he really needs to tank are the ones that are in this immediate area uh, as soon as he gets those golems down you're gonna see him drop uh, several wizards they're gonna start taking out these garbage buildings that's gonna create a nice funnel for the king and the queen and along with the just a handful of maybe three or four wizards, the two golems and the heroes, that is his kill squad. But they do a great job. They take out everything that you see above that white line there. Uh, a jump spell is going to let him into those chambers right there. And they're going to start to push in a little bit here. They're going to take out these defenses. And as soon as they take out this wizard tower and push in, that's when they draw the clan castle lure. Now, this is a cleanup, so Jakey Boy knew there was a dragon in this clan castle, so he didn't bring the standard lightning spell. Instead, he brought a rage spell, uh, which was uh, very effective. It helped his wizards and his archer queen take that dragon out very, very quickly, and it also helped take out all the rest of the buildings in this area as well. That's the advantage of being able to bring a rage spell. Um, so all these defenses go down. Of course, the archer queen is down, the clan castle is down, this guy goes down as well um, and look at the return on his investment just for bringing in one extra golem big investment to be sure yes but he got the archer queen of course the clan castle two air defenses uh, an expo a max expo that's big a tesla 
two towers, an archer tower and a wizard tower, all of those are high priority targets when you're doing an air attack. So those are all down. Great start to this attack. So he has, uh, proceeding with the air portion of the attack, he has three lava hounds left. He starts off dropping two on this guy here. Different angles, trying to soak up as many different air bombs and mines as possible, of course. And then he's going to drop all the way around the base. He's going to go two loons at a time per target. He's got two rage spells. Uh, they are dropped right there for the first one. Going to get five defenses covered with that rage. And also notice how it's shifted a little bit towards the direction that these first loon drops are coming in. Because he's going for a clockwise rotation around the exterior of this base. Uh, so it's shifted in that direction to help accelerate those balloons faster towards his air defense. Um, now these these guys are dying quickly. These lava hounds are dying quickly because of how densely uh, these defenses are packed, which in my opinion is one of the weaknesses of this base for this strategy, but it also means your lava hounds are going to die quickly. So he does bring in his third and final lava hound, even in on that first uh, air defense there. He's got a couple more balloons at this point. Uh, one of them is going to be able to push survive and push on over to that next air defense. So he's got uh, the same style of drop with the ridge bell shifted to help that clockwise rotation. And then finally four more balloons dropped in on the end there. And he's going to have plenty of balloons and lava pups to help clean up. He's even got a few wizards that he's going to drop in over here to help clean up as well. And has plenty of time left over to get the three star here. So we'll clear all this off here. And let's go ahead and watch the replay. See how this played out in real time. Wizards going down right away, no hesitation on those. Getting that funnel up. You don't want to leave your golems hanging for too long out there, especially since he knows they're going to be under fire from five defenses before they even get inside the walls. And here comes the balloon and the dragon, so the rage spell gets dropped. Barb Kane's going to take out the defending queen, and his queen takes out that dragon in no time flat. And with both of those air defenses down, that kill squad has more than done its job. So here comes the air portion of the attack. And this first Lava Hound <laughs> soaks up so much damage, I think it takes uh, two air mines, several air bombs, and all that DPS pouring in from those uh, defensive buildings. So, did not last very long at all. So all three Lava Hounds get dropped in on that first air defense. But a nice job being patient, not letting his uh, loon drops get too far out ahead of his lava hounds. You got to make sure the lava hounds are moving out in front of the balloons so they're doing all the tanking. And that's what's going to keep as many of your balloons alive as possible. As you can see here, Jakey Boy did a good job of that because he's got about 10 balloons left over. And it's just clean up at this point. A really nice attack on PCB there by Jakey Boy. So there you go, you guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned a little something that you can apply towards one of your wars in the near future and take out PCB. Until next time, keep on clashing.